is Rachel Mayo. Welcome to my channel and thank you for being here. I'm going to be talking about what I love about the transit of Jupiter into Aries. This transit started on the 10th of May, so I'm a little bit late, but essentially I'll be talking about how it's likely going to affect your natal chart depending on where you have your natal Saturn and also how it's aspected. Because if you have your natal Saturn in one of the air signs or the fire signs, Jupiter is going to be making a very positive and harmonious aspect. This is the aspect that is required to make things manifest, to make things real. Jupiter is going to enter the sign of Aries on May 10, and then he's going to eventually start to go retrograde on July 28, and he will retrograde back into the sign of Pisces. He's going to turn direct on the 28th of November and start moving out of the sign of he, he will be out of the sign of Pisces for good. He's only going to come back and revisit his home sign after 12 years. So when Jupiter returns into the sign of Pisces, this will be another chance for us to recapture our dreams. Perhaps we may have forgotten something about what we really wanted to do or some of the details. Well, when Jupiter is going retrograde in the sign of Pisces, we have this opportunity to go over our dreams, our hopes and wishes so that we can implement them and make them manifest for real in the sign of Aries. The other thing I love about Jupiter transiting the sign of Aries is that he's being hosted by Mars. The combination of Jupiter and Mars is very powerful. is very powerful energy. This is going to put a fire under our butts to make our dreams become a reality. Whatever we're dreaming of and hoping to implement or start in the sign of Pisces while Jupiter was there, we're going to have the initiative and the forcefulness and the go-getter attitude to go for what it is that we want to make manifest. This is what Mars does. It's an energy of, it's the energy of the square. It pushes you into action. It's almost like you're at the racetrack and they're about to say, get ready, go. And this is what I love about Jupiter in a fire sign. Aries is a fire sign, of course, ruled by Mars. Jupiter rules the fire sign of Sagittarius. So we have double fire energy. This is time for you to start working on the things that you wanted, the things that you were dreaming of when Jupiter was transiting his home sign. Now is the time for you to go for it. This is the energy of the square. The square aspect is a Mars aspect. It pushes you into action, sometimes whether you want to or not. This is the beginning point. Aries is the first sign of the zodiac. This is where we begin. So let's go. Let's get it done. Let's get it started. No more procrastination. No more hangovers. It's time to just it's time to just do it. Another thing I like about this transit of Jupiter entering the sign of Aries is that on the same day, Mercury goes retrograde in the sign of Gemini. Remember that Gemini is ruled by Mercury, so Mercury is at home, and Mercury opposes the sign of Sagittarius, which is ruled by Jupiter. So two rulers of opposing signs are communicating harmoniously in a trine on that day. The only thing here to pay attention to is that Mercury is actually turning retrograde and Jupiter is a moving forward. What is this telling us? Mercury is suggesting that we go back and make sure that the things we were thinking about, the things we were dreaming about are really things that we can make happen. We may have to leave out some details that are probably not relevant to for us moving forward. This is what I like about Mercury going backwards. Mercury retrograde is not a bad transit. It gives you an it gives you an opportunity to look over details. And especially in a sign that it rules, Gemini. Gemini is about the spoken word, details, computers, all kinds of communication, our neighbors, our siblings. So maybe there's some details that you need to look over regarding those issues. So you're getting this opportunity and this opportunity is being blessed 
by Jupiter. And whenever Jupiter and Mercury communicate in a trine aspect or even a sextile aspect, there is an element of good news. So some people may get some really good news during this retrograde transit. So don't sleep on Mercury retrograde. It's time for you to go over contracts. It's time for you to go over things that you may have said to somebody in the past. And yes, watch out for your old lovers coming back or your friends or siblings. And perhaps if you're missing a sibling or something's going on with your sibling, Mercury retrograde could actually help and assist in this situation. Things that are lost will be found. Relationships that need and deserve a second chance will return at this time. But watch out for some of these exes coming back because some of them will just be bringing you bad karma or un bringing back unresolved issues that you probably may not want to deal with at this time, especially if you've already started another significant relationship. So be careful who so be careful who you decide to take back during a Mercury retrograde transit. When Jupiter and Saturn aspect each other in this way, things become real. You need Jupiter to expand the goodness. If you enjoy the content of this video, please press like, share and subscribe. Also remember to share my videos on your social media or with your friends and family. You just never know who needs to hear this message. It could absolutely make a difference in their life. And if you'd like to support my channel, there is a thank you button where you can actually donate any amount that you wish to donate. Any amount that you can afford is appreciated. If you cannot afford to give a tip at this time, I would really appreciate your subscription or your comments. The comments on the videos really help my channel. Of course, the likes, the shares and the subs make a very big difference. They really help my channel grow. So whatever it is that you could do for me at this time will be very much appreciated. And you need the planet Saturn to give it stability, reality and longevity. This can happen because transiting Jupiter is aspecting your own natal Saturn, which should be in air or fire sign or fire signs for this to manifest. Or it could also be aspecting transiting Saturn. We had this particular aspect missing because Jupiter was transiting his own sign of Pisces, very powerful, the last sign of the Zodiac, while we had Saturn transiting his own sign of Aquarius, also very powerful. But these two planets could not communicate because they were basically not seeing each other. So if they're not aspecting each other, they're not going to make anything manifest and come into reality. We, we stayed stuck in the belief and the dream stage of Jupiter being in Pisces. But in order to achieve anything in life or to make anything manifest into reality, you have to start with a dream. And this was what Jupiter was essentially providing in his own sign of Pisces. So we had really, um, our imagination may have soared to unbelievable heights, as well as our creativity and belief that something is going to manifest. However, Jupiter and Saturn were not in communication at the time they were transiting their own planets because they're right next to each other. Aquarius is right next to Pisces. Jupiter met up with Neptune, the core ruler of Pisces. Not ha this conjunction has not happened since the 1850s. If you haven't watched my video on the Jupiter-Neptune conjunction, I suggest that you go and do so. So coming back to what I love about this transit, so Jupiter in, Jupiter in Pisces was finishing up things. Jupiter had been on a long journey. He had, he had circled the whole entire zodiac and was coming back home after a very, very, very long 12 year journey. So Jupiter was tired. He was probably resting and oversleeping, overeating, and perhaps even over partying or drinking too much or drugging too much. So I think Jupiter was really not able to grant us what we really wanted and make it many and make it manifest into reality. I really feel Jupiter is going to be able to help us manifest something into reality 
one simply because he is going to now be aspecting the sign or he is now going to be aspecting saturn in a sextile so a sextile is a harmonious aspect this is an aspect of if you put the energy in if you make the effort to make something happen to make something manifest it can actually manifest and this is not the only way that you can have jupiter and saturn by transit manifest anything in, into your life look at where you have your natal saturn if your natal saturn is in an air sign or a fire sign gemini aquarius and libra and the fire signs being aries leo and sagittarius you're in luck because transiting jupiter is going to be making a harmonious aspect to your natal Saturn, you will be able to manifest something in the houses that these two are seen. You, you will be able to manifest something into reality in the house where your natal Saturn is seated. Jupiter is a planet that expands everything it touches. If things are going good in your house, if things are going good in the house of Aries, Jupiter is going to expand that goodness. And if things need healing in the house of Aries, Jupiter is also going to expand the healing or expose what you need to get healed. Jupiter is the center of the zodiac and he's being Jupiter is the center of the zodiac and he's being energized by the power of Mars because Mars is of course the planet that rules the sign of Aries so therefore Mars is host being so therefore Mars is hosting Jupiter he's like the energizer bunny he's ready to work he's ready to lead he's he's ready to initiate your projects this is definitely the time for you to stop dreaming and put things into reality. So how is this going to affect you according to your ascendant? We are going to begin, of course, with the luckiest sign of the zodiac. This time around, it's Aries. So Aries, ascendant, sun or moon. This transit is happening conjunct your ascendant. When Jupiter transits your ascendant, you feel so lucky and so blessed. I'm sure you Aries ascendants have had some kind of blessing happen in your life. Forget about what's happening in the background with the lunar eclipse. There are definitely some blessings coming to you. So the only thing is that, it, so it is really up to you to use this energy to initiate anything in any area of your chart. Because when the ascendant is activated, every angle in the chart is activated. So if you want to look for a new job, Jupiter is going to give you that Jupiter is going to give you extra push and ambition to go for it. If you want to work on your relationships, Jupiter is also going to give you that blessing to be able to negotiate and meet your partner halfway. If you want to improve something in your home area, Jupiter is supporting you. Basically, you have the energy of Jupiter at your disposal, at your disposal in your hands. There is, of course, one negative to having Jupiter transiting your ascendant. Jupiter has a tendency to expand whatever it touches. So if it is your ascendant, you are going to be expanded. Essentially, that means you're going to get fat. So if you don't want to gain weight during this transit, I suggest that you start lifting weights so that way Jupiter will expand your muscles. And we all know that muscle burns fat. This will be your recipe to not gaining weight during this transit. And since Jupiter is also a planet that brings healing, if there's anything, if you've had a chronic disease or any type of ailment, this is really the best time for you to go and this is the best time for you to go and seek help. This is the best time for you to go and seek help, get some healing, use Jupiter's positive energy so that you can heal thyself. Taurus ascendant sun or moon Jupiter is going to be transiting your 12th house as we all know the 12th house is a hidden house it's the area where we self-sabotage we can self-sabotage through of course bad habits bad habits like overeating drinking too much drugging or perhaps secret unhealthy relationships that is another form of self that is another form of self-sabotage so stop going after other people's boyfriends or husbands <laughs> because if that's what you're doing jupiter may expand that you may fall in too deep into these 
you may fall into you may fall in too deep in these type of relationships eventually that never ends well one positive aspect of jupiter in the 12th house is that it will protect you from your hidden enemies because yes the 12th house is the house of our hidden enemies if so if you have hidden enemies that have been plotting against you and trying to come after you jupiter is going to give you protection against these hidden enemies so if you've been having legal troubles in a foreign country jupiter is going to help resolve those issues and make your stay much more comfortable and for those who've been wanting to travel to a far off land a foreign country this is an excellent time for you to apply for your visa and take this trip because jupiter is going to expand your existence in a positive way in a foreign country of course we have to keep in mind how jupiter is aspecting your other planets otherwise jupiter only wants to bless and heal this house the 12th house also rules over generational karma our karma that you've inherited from your ancestors this is karma that you had nothing to do with this is karma that you inherited because you have the same last name because you share a last name or because you're born into a particular family. We don't choose to be born into a certain family. But when we are born, certain families do carry heavy karma. Jupiter transiting the 12th house is an opportunity for healing. This means that Jupiter could heal your generational karma and wipe it away. So Taurus, the luck is not in your hands. It's, so the luck is not in your hands. It's more of a spiritual protective power. Jupiter is going to be transiting into your sign sometime in 2023. And this is the time that you can use the power of Jupiter to expand or improve any area of your life. Right now is time for you to use this Jupiterian energy behind the scenes use this energy in a positive way to find healing if you wanted to go to rehab or any type of um, mental health facility this is an excellent time to also use this energy that way jupiter is going to support anything that you're trying to do that is positive it's going to expand the healing gemini ascendant sun or moon Jupiter is transiting your 11th house. Jupiter loves being in the 11th house. This is a really good transit for you, Gemini, as you are an air sign. So Jupiter is going to be communicating with your sun sign, your ascendant or your moon sign by the aspect of a sextile. And remember, I did mention the energy of a sextile has to be harnessed. You have to make an effort to make things happen. This is a very positive transit. Jupiter is communicating. This is a very positive transit. And if you're one of those people who has your natal Saturn in Gemini, Jupiter is going to definitely help you make something real and manifest in these two houses. So you're in luck. What is the 11th house? What is the 11th house about? The 11th house is the house that rewards the work that we did, the hard work that we did in the 10th house. This is where we get promotions, windfalls, financial windfalls, accolades, and good luck and good karma because of the work that we did in the 10th house. So, so Jupiter is going to expand all this goodness. If you've been trying to if you've been trying to join an exclusive club or an online group, Jupiter is going to make that possible. Since Jupiter also expands, since Jupiter expands what it touches, it's going to expand your friendships. You're going to make really, you're going to make some new friends during this transit. And these friends could become really and these some of these people could be benefactors you will be able to benefit something with these friendships that 11th house also rules over our elder siblings our uncles our aunties if you've been having any issues with your if you've been having any issues with this if you've been having any issues with these people or perhaps even your friendships jupiter is going to bring some healing at this time the 11th house is where we manifest our hopes, dreams, and wishes. Remember what I said about having Saturn there. If you have your natal Saturn sitting in this house, especially between 1 and 8 degrees, 
something real is going to happen before Jupiter starts to go retrograde. So keep an eye out for this transit and make sure you use it to your advantage. This sextile energy is energy where you have to put some effort and Mars is hosting Jupiter. So therefore the energy is going to be there. So just go ahead and do it. Cancer ascendant sun or moon. This transit is happening in your 10th house. When Jupiter transits the 10th house, the 10th house is a very public area. Whatever is going to manifest in this area is going to become very apparent to everybody. So if you do get a promotion, it's going to be a big promotion and everybody is going to know about it. The 10th house rules over what we do for a living, our standing in society. So essentially our job, our bosses, our authority figures and the government. From my experience, when Jupiter transits the 10th house, most people get an opportunity to start a totally brand new career. So if you're one of those people that has that offering, it's definitely time for you to just go for it, just do it. Do not do not be intimidated if it's something that you've never done before. And for those that have been working at a job for a very long time and have not met any type of success, advancement, Jupiter is going to get you that promotion that you've been wanting for, that you've been working for, for so long. And for those who are tired of working for the man and they want to move on and start something of their own, start their own business, this is an excellent time for you to just go ahead and just do it. Jupiter is going to give you the encouragement because he's being boosted by the energy of Mars. So, so have courage have courage and so have courage and trust that this business is going to eventually work out for you this is a 12 year cycle you are going to begin something new in this area of your chart so take advantage of this energy cancer i know you are getting the blessings from jupiter transiting pisces and he was aspecting your sign in a very positive way unfortunately this time around that aspect has ended it does not mean you cannot manifest and make your dreams in it doesn't mean that you cannot manifest your dreams into reality you still can you're just not getting that trying aspect when jupiter was transiting in the sign of pisces do not fret dear cancer jupiter is going to revisit this area so if there's anything that you need to go back to and pick up you can do that when jupiter goes back into pisces Leo ascendant sun or moon. This transit is happening in your ninth house. Jupiter loves to be in the ninth house because he does rule the ninth house of the zodiac Sagittarius. So he's very comfortable there. And Leo, you are a fire sign and Aries is a fire sign. So you are getting the lucky aspect of a trine. This means that energy is flowing easily and harmoniously. Please just do not sit back and wait for things to happen. Keep your eyes out or keep your eyes open for opportunities and take advantage of them. Try an aspect can make you lazy and just expect things to happen. That way you can miss out on rare opportunities. This is why I like the sextile aspect. Opportunity gets presented to you. You take some type of action. So remember, if you're the lazy type, opportunities might just slip you opportunities will slip will slip by so wake up and take advantage of this energy it is rare energy that comes around only every once in 12 years you're beginning a whole brand new 12 year cycle go back to 12 years ago and see what was happening in your life it's not going to be the same thing but it's going to be in the same area what does the ninth house rule over the ninth the ninth house rules over our higher belief system. It rules the justice system. It rules foreign lands, foreign languages. It also rules law and order. The ninth house is the house of uh, religion, gurus, priests, higher education, that is uni or college. That, so that also means it rules over your professors. If you've been trying to get into a prestigious university or college, this is a great opportunity because Jupiter is going to grant you your wish. 
Jupiter is going to open doors. Jupiter is going to expand opportunities when to, Jupiter is going to expand opportunities when it comes to higher education. If you had applied for a green card and you're not getting any luck or any news, this is the transit that is going to deliver your green card or the necessary paperwork that you need in order to work in a foreign country. Jupiter is truly going to bless this house and protect this house. It is his house. This is an excellent transit, Leo. Just do it. Just go for it. Virgo Ascendant Sun or Moon. This transit is happening in your eighth house. The eighth house is also another kind of lucky house when it comes to certain things because the eighth house rules over other people's money and that is inheritances, loans, financial windfalls, lottery wins, anything where it has to do with money that you didn't work for but comes easily to you. The eighth house also rules over deep intimacy, the deep intimate relationships that we form with another person. This is the area where we bond on a soul level. The eighth house also rules over sex, death, rebirth and transformation. So yes, it's going to expand things in that way. If somebody has been ill for a very long time and they've been in pain, Jupiter is going to Jupiter is going to release them from this existence and perhaps this is why some of you will possibly get an inheritance. Of course, unfortunately, that's what has to happen. Somebody has to be released from this existence and leave you something. So this is a very likely situation for some of you. If you've been wanting to apply for a loan, a mortgage, a car loan or any type of loan, this is an excellent time for you to do so. When Jupiter transits the eighth house, it can really expand that. When Jupiter was transiting my eighth house a few years back, I was very lucky when it came to getting up. I was I was very lucky when it came to getting mortgages, loans, car loans, all within the same year. It felt like the banks were just handing out this money like candy and all I had to do was sign on the dotted line. So yes, Jupiter can expand that. Just make sure that you're, you're getting into loans. Just make sure that you can, you're getting into loans that you can actually afford to pay because Jupiter may make you feel very confident and you'll feel like, yes, anything is possible. I can handle this. When Jupiter leaves this house, you might be faced with some issues if you're not using this Jupiterian expansion energy in a positive and reasonable manner. If you've been having problems with intimacy, Jupiter could unfortunately expand those problems. But if you've been trying to get intimate, to take your relationship to the next level, Jupiter is going to energize that Jupiter is going to energize that relationship and make it expand, make you to become more bonded. If you wanted to go into subjects like research, investigation, or perhaps you wanted to become a private investigator, Jupiter is going to support you in that way because the eighth house also rules subjects of research, the occult. So you might get deeper into these su subjects if you've been curious about such topics. Keep in mind that if you've had any back taxes that you owed, Jupiter could come in and expand that problem and you may have to pay your taxes right away. And for those that have paid their taxes and have filed their taxes, you might actually get a bigger return during the year that Jupiter transits your eighth house. Jupiter is going to expand whatever it touches. If things are not going really well and that house is not well aspected, you could get the negative side of Jupiter. And if things are well, and if things are going well, Jupiter is going to expand that and expand healing. If you're, and if your eighth house is well aspected, you will get the more positive results of this transit. The main message with this transit is don't be a procrastinator. Don't be stuck in the dreams, the Piscean dreams. It's time for you to make something happen. It's something, it's time for you to just go for it. Just do it. Libra, Ascendant, Sun or Moon. Well, Jupiter is transiting Aries, your seventh house. That essentially means it's transiting an angle house, your descendant. And once an angle is highlighted, activated, all the other angles are also activated. So what could happen is that you've been going out with someone for a while. 
this could be the time that you, you this could be the time that you get a proposal and decide to get married and when you get married you're standing in society the MC gets expanded because you're no longer a single person and you get expanded because you're happier now that you have a partner in crime and possibly your home gets expanded it's just no longer you there anymore it's you with another person so what is the seventh house rule over it rules over our marriages our committed relationships or a, or partnerships any type of relationship or any situation where we're dealing with the other person is a seventh house issue so the people that we um, do business with is so, so business contracts business partnerships business agreements are all ruled under the seventh house so essentially if you have a business Jupiter going through your seventh house is going to expand your business you're most likely going to start making more money because you have more people that you're going to deal with this is the house of the other and if the other is expanded that means more people more business for those that have been single for a long time, this is an excellent time for you to go and search for a partner. It's very likely that you will meet someone really special, someone who you can have a meaningful relationship, a meaningful relationship that could possibly lead to um, that could possibly lead to marriage. And for those that have been in a bad marriage, bad relationship, bad committed and for those that have been in a bad marriage, a bad committed relationship or business arrangement Jupiter is going to come in this area and release you from this bad situation and usually when Jupiter releases you from a bad situation it does not take that long for you to find a better partner to make a better business agreement to make a better commitment so if a partnership ends at the initial so, so if a partnership or a marriage ends at the beginning of this transit trust and believe that Jupiter is blessing you by removing that bad situation and he's going to bless you with a better partner this is a once in 12 year transit you are definitely going to initiate something totally brand new in this area of your chart it, this is an excellent transit it's time for you to just go for it just do it and trust that it's going to work out Scorpio ascendant Sun or moon this transit is happening in your sixth house. The sixth house rules over our work environment, our job, our co-workers. What do you do every day? You, you, you wake up, you eat something, you exercise. So yes, it rules over our diet, our exercise. Uh, so, so yes, the sixth house rules over our diet, our exercise regimen, and our health. The sixth house also rules over the other things that we take care of on a daily basis. And I know I always forget to talk about this because I don't have a pet. The sixth house is the house of our pets. So if you've been looking to adopt a pet, this is an excellent year for you to do so. Even if you haven't, even if you've not been, even if you don't want to look, even if you don't want to have a pet, this is a year that a lovely cat or dog is going to look into your eyes and you're going to fall in love and get a pet during this transit. The sixth house also rules over our co-workers. And as I always say, our co-workers are not our friends. This is the house of our known enemy. The enemies that we have in the 12th house are hidden. The enemies that we have in the sixth house are known enemies. Perfect example, a promotion is up for offer for whoever performs the best. That will make your co-worker your competitor. A competitor is essentially an enemy. So don't be surprised if your co-worker that you thought was your friend throws you under the bus. Always remember your co-worker is not your friend. Your co-worker is an acquaintance, so treat them as such. If you've been out of a job for a long time and you've been looking for employment, this is an excellent year that you will get that desire. This is an excellent year that you will get that desirable job with the desirable pay. And if you've been wanting to get a promotion at your current job, it's very likely that you will get this promotion. Or 
if not a promotion you will make more money during this cycle because you will be given more hours jupiter in the tw jupiter in the sixth house is expanding the sixth house so it's expanding your work and if you have your own business and you've been wanting to hire people not even only if you've been wanting to hire people this year because you're going to get so much work you're going to need to hire more people so that they can help you so that you're going to need to hire more people so that this work can get done. So yes, business owners, it's an excellent time for you to look for, it's, it's, a, it's an excellent time for you to look for workers that you're going to end up valuing for perhaps even the next 12 years to come. If, if you've had bad health and you want to do something about it, this is an excellent time for you to try, so, this is an excellent time for you to get treatment because if you're doing something positive, you're trying to heal yourself, Jupiter is going to expand that healing and make you feel better. Unfortunately, if your health is not doing so well and you refuse to do something positive to heal yourself, Jupiter is going to expand your problems. Jupiter is going to expand your health problems if you don't choose to use this Jupiterian energy in a supportive and positive way. The other thing that's really positive about this is that Jupiter is being hosted by Mars. And remember, Mars is your other core ruler, actually is the original ruler of the sign of Scorpio. So this is energy that is really, com this is energy that you're comfortable with. This is energy that you understand. So you are most likely going to see the opportunities come in and you're going to take advantage of these opportunities. If you've been having issues with co-workers or your workplace or your place of employment, this is the time that you could decide to go and take legal action against your co-worker or perhaps even your employer. Jupiter transiting the sixth house is going to bring healing in the situations. This means that Jupiter is going to back you and it's very likely that you're going to win this case. Uh, it's very likely that you're going to win this case. Whoever you decide to sue at this time or whoever decides to sue you, Jupiter is going to give you that blessing hand. Scorpio, this is a very positive transit. It only comes around once every 12 years. So make sure you use this Jupiterian energy to get things done. If you need to look for a job, look for a job. This is an excellent time for you to start a workout regimen, perhaps start lifting some weights. After all, we have Mars here hosting Jupiter and Mars is going to give you that energy to go ahead and be able to start that weight loss journey. The other thing that Jupiter is going to do in this house, unfortunately, is that it can expand your weight. If, you, you, if your diet is not good, Jupiter is going to expand that horrible diet and you are going to gain weight. So pay attention, use this energy the other way, use it to increase your workout routine and your strength training. Lift some metal, Mars rules metal, Mars rules your sign. This can work for you, Scorpio. Sagittarius Ascendant Sun or Moon. Jupiter is your ruling planet and is transiting another fire sign, sign of Aries. Jupiter is being hosted by Mars and Mars and Jupiter is excellent energy. Energy here is going to be expanded. So if you've been trying to get a project off in this area, this is an excellent time for you to do so. Jupiter is aspecting your sign, ascendant or your moon by the aspect of a trine. This is a very harmonious and supportive aspect. Just however, keep in mind that this is energy that could just make things so harmonious, make you lazy that you don't even make an effort to do anything. Take advantage of opportunities. Look for opportunities. What is the fifth house rule over? The fifth house is a Jupiterian house. It's the house of creativity. It's the house of our children, romance, entertainment, our small business. We usually start a small business from our net because because we're talented somewhere. So talents are also ruled under this area. Most important of all, the fifth house is the house of luck and karma good luck this is the house where we have the luck that we're born with from another past life this karma was earned in a past life because of the good deeds that we did 
in our past life and it's available for us to use expand in this lifetime so you don't have to work for this karma this karma good luck just comes naturally Sagittarius this is a year to initiate a hot romance it is time for you to fall in love be entertained go on vacation have some fun you deserve it this is the year that all this can happen and happen very easily and happen very easily for you if you've been trying to get pregnant and you've been having problems this is the time that Jupiter is going to come into this house and bless this house, give it and give it the positive energy, the mojo that you need to get going, that you need in order to get going. Also keep in mind that if perhaps you're not looking to get pregnant, make sure you use protection because it can happen very easily during this transit of Jupiter in your fifth house. You know, another positive thing in this house is that Jupiter can expand your creativity your talents are going to blossom at this time if you've been if you've been procrastinate if you've been procrastinating about releasing that song or writing that movie script this is the time for you to initiate those projects because you're getting a lot of support a lot of harmonious energy this is the time for you to just go for it and just do it since the fifth house also rules over our children for those that have already finished having children they're done with expanding their family this is the time that they could have grandchildren because these because our because grandchildren are a result of our initial creativity our children so if you are in that age range yes it's very likely that you will have grandchildren this year it will expand the time that you spend with your children your children are going to you're going to feel really blessed because of your children things will start going well for things will start going Things will start going well for your children because this energy, your good luck is usually extended to you. It's usually extended to your children as well. So Sagittarius, you are a sign of faith. Have faith and believe in yourself. It is time for you to do it. You can do it. Just go for it. Capricorn Ascendant Sun or Moon. This transit is happening in your fourth house. The fourth house rules over our home. The fourth house rules over our home, our homeland. It also rules over our ancestors. This area also rules over our deep, deep hidden emotions. This is the house where we are most vulnerable. This is the house where we get home, throw off the slippers, take our clothes off and just be really comfortable. The fourth house also rules over our deep hidden resentments, perhaps resentments that you have towards your mother or your family. Unfortunately, if there are resentments and disagreements in this area and your chart is not well aspected, Jupiter could come in and expand these problems. However, there is a blessing. Jupiter is aspecting um, the sign of Aquarius where your ruling planet is transiting. This means that if you make efforts in order to heal these situations, Jupiter is going to help you by expanding the healing in this house and blessing this house because he is aspecting your ruling planet after all. If you've been wanting to move to a foreign country, go and live there permanently, Jupiter is going to give you this opportunity. So go ahead and make that dream become a reality. The fourth house, since the fourth house rules over how, since the whole, since the fourth house also rules our homes, if you've been wanting to buy a, if you've been wanting to move to a bigger house, Jupiter is going to bless that. Jupiter is going to make this happen. Jupiter expands wherever it touches. So it could expand your family and this could happen with perhaps your mother or your father comes to live with you. Therefore, there's an extra member in the family. Another way is it could expand your family through birth. You could be giving birth at this time and expanding your home and expanding your family that way. So if you always wanted to move to a bigger place, this is certainly the time for you to make this happen. It could happen anytime soon, or it will definitely happen before Jupiter leaves this house. If you've been having problems with your landlord, this is an excellent time for you to heal those problems with your landlord. If, and if you've been having emotional problems and deep resentments, this is an excellent time for you to go and get 
some therapy so you could get healing while Jupiter is there and able to assist you to expand this healing. So another thing we have to remember is that the fourth house is an angle house, it's the IC. If Jupiter touches an angle, it expands that angle. And if things, if things definitely change in your home area, that means that Jupiter is also looking at your job area across on the MC. Something really positive could be going on in that area also. And Jupiter is also squaring your ascendant. So you could be pushed into taking some type of action to improve things in the home, thus improving relationships with other people. And the other person, usually like our partners, our marriage partners, is the seventh house. So all these angles are going to be activated because of the conjunction of Jupiter to your IC. This is an excellent transit. It's a once in 12 year transit and you will initiate something totally brand new in this area. So go for it, just do it, take advantage of this energy. Aquarius Ascendant Sun or Moon. This transit is happening in your third house. What does the third house rule over? The third house rules over our immediate environment, basic education, our, our brothers, sisters, our siblings, and our friends that we grow up with in the neighborhood. It also rules over our neighbors. So Jupiter is coming into this area and wanting to bless it. And remember what I said at the beginning of this video. And finally, Jupiter is going to be aspecting transiting Saturn. Transiting Saturn is transiting your sign, which he rules. So Jupiter will be... So Jupiter will be throwing this positive aspect called a sextile. So this means if you'd make any efforts, take any initiative to change things or manifest something in this area where Jupiter rules, something could possibly happen. Another thing that this area rules over is our devices, our computers, our phones, and our cars because this area also rules short distance travel, perhaps in the neighborhood. So if you've been wanting to start a job delivering food or giving rides in the neighborhood, short distance travel, Jupiter is going to bring that opportunity. If you've been wanting to write a novel or learn a new skill, this is an excellent time for you to start writing that book. It's an excellent time for you to go and learn something new or go and learn a new language or some other type of communication. <laughs> most people think the third house is not an important house. It is one of the most important house because this is the house where we make effort. This is where we learn skills. Without learning something, you cannot really achieve anything. So this is where pretty much most of the things that we're able to do in life begin. So, so Jupiter is going to expand your knowledge if you decide to go and get some type of training, learn something new, learn a new skill, learn a new language. Jupiter is going to expand that and you be able to use these new learned skills in a positive way to advance your career and therefore increase your earnings. So this is an effort house. And is being as uh, and Jupiter is aspecting this house by sextile, which is an effort aspect. So definitely do not sit. So definitely do not sit back and just wait for things to happen. Opportunities are going to be presented to you, and you will be able to make something out of these opportunities. You'll be able to make some of the things that you were dreaming about become reality. So take advantage of this once in twelve year transit to your third house. This is a great transit, use it wisely. Pisces, Ascendant, Sun or Moon. This transit is happening in your second house. The second house rules over our earning ability. This is the house that rules over what we love and value. So we love our money, we love our family. However, in the second house, it's the family that we make with another person. This is not the family that we're forced to be born into. We choose the family of the second house and we make this family usually with a partner, a marriage partner or just another partner and also the friends that we have for a long time. We've known them all our life and they feel like family. So those type of friendships that feel like family fall into the second house. 
The second house also rules over our self-esteem. It also rules over our mouth, what goes in and what goes out. So why could Jupiter come and expand here since Jupiter expands wherever it touches? If you had bad eating habits, Jupiter is going to expand that, especially if your chart is negatively aspected in this area. And if you choose to go the other route and have a good diet, Jupiter is going to expand that and help you eat better wholesome foods and possibly, and, and by doing so, you could possibly lose some weight. If you've had a bad habit of speaking rude to people, cursing at people, Jupiter is going to also come in and expand that. And if you decide to drop that bad habit, Jupiter is going to help you speak better to people and Jupiter is going to give you wisdom. One of the best things to look forward to when Jupiter is transiting the second house is that it's going to bless this house. That means it's going to essentially expand your money. Jupiter is going to bring more opportunities in your life for you to make more money, for you to earn a better living. So if you've been trying to start your own business, Jupiter is going to bring you opportunities and encouragement. Remember, Mars is hosting Jupiter during this transit. So if you've been dreaming about initiating a business while Jupiter was while Jupiter was transiting your sign, this is now the time for you to make this happen. It's time for you to take action in order for you to make things be real and manifest something that is probably going to last you for at least 12 years. Remember Jupiter has a 12 year cycle around the zodiac. He has not been here in 12 years. Whatever you initiate at this time during this transit could possibly last you for at least 12 years to come. So choose wisely what you decide to begin during this transit. This is essentially the year that you're going to earn more than you've earned in the past few years. You will get a pay raise, you will get a pay raise and Jupiter is going to keep blessing you with opportunities for you to Jupiter is going to be blessing you with opportunities for you to take initiative, start something new so that you can earn a better living. Mm -hmm.